Hi, just gonna wait and see if anyone jumps on. Hi guys, I'm just going to do a fruit ice cream quickly, um, just waiting to see if anyone comes on. And now I'm having Wi-Fi problems, so bear with me. <laughs> All right, it's working. I don't think you can see my screen there either, but I'll run you through it. I'm just going to search fruit ice cream in my cookie do. No, my Wi Fi is dropping. So my mix is being a bit of a pain so hopefully it doesn't drop out mid video but we'll see how we go all right so I've just searched up fruit ice cream on my Thermomix and I just press start cooking so we need 60 grams of sugar to taste you can put more or less depending on how sweet you want your ice cream So I just tear it off and I've got my inbuilt scales there to weigh out my sugar. I usually do do 60 grams. I find that's perfect. And so that's just raw sugar I used. So you just need to use raw sugar because it will mill it up for you, which I'll show you. You just press next, pop the lid on. It's a little bit loud, so uh, speed 10 for 15 seconds. Also, you can't take the lid off when, um, when it's cooking, which is a safety mechanism, which is really great. So you can't take the lid off mid cooking hot food or something. So that's just milled that down to icing sugar. You can see that there. So there's no need to buy icing sugar anymore. I just buy raw sugar and mill it down to caster sugar or mill it down to icing sugar, depending on what I need. Now I'm just adding my berries. So I just use frozen berries. I'm just doing plain strawberries. You can use whatever berries you like. Um, it's 500 grams. So if you're using fresh berries that have been frozen yourself, you want to cut them, um, just cut them in half or cut them in quarters before they go in. So that's 500 grams of frozen berries. And it's saying to insert my spatula in the top so that I can give it a stir while it's Sorry, my Wi-Fi is dropping out a little bit. I hope that's not too bad on your end. 
if you're tuning in, just drop a comment, say hello. Feel free to ask me any questions you have. Let's just come up with the steps on the screen. It says scrape down the sides. So that's pretty much a sorbet now. Look at that. And it's just saying to insert the butterfly whisk, which is this one, which is good for like whipping your cream or your ice cream or egg whites or cakes and things like that. Make sure that's in nice. And now your cream. So it's saying 120 grams of pouring cream. Tear off my scales. Thin. Yeah, Pavlova, that would be perfect in the Thermomix. Next. And this is just going to whip it up. So 40 seconds on speed four. You can't use your. Um, whisk your butterfly whisk over speed four because you chop up your butterfly whisk um so with the cookie do recipes it's all built in so it won't let you go above four but if you were going to do a manual recipe and you wanted to use your whisk you just have to remember to go um four or below it's not that much sugar and it's just a little bit of cream you don't have all your extra additives you see I'm trying to scrape it into the bowl so you can see but that's that's your ice cream there and this is um, an ice cream container which you can buy from the mix shop so I'll pop that link in the comments Let's see if... so you can check that out but there it is you could probably eat that straight away but I usually just pop it in the freezer for an hour or so all right awesome thanks so much for tuning in guys if you have any questions feel free to ask them um, and I'll pop a photo on after. Thank you.